Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Hey! <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's the Monday before Mobile World Congress. My head's all about getting everything together that I need to to get off to Spain. Check out all the new phones coming out, heading out this Friday morning. But wait, hold the presses. It's a FedEx box. And, uh, I think I know what's inside because it's from somebody at Virgin Mobile. You keep those dirty jokes to yourself. I think it's the uh, long, long, long awaited. Used to be called Helio, but now they're not. Oh, but it still is called Helio. It's the Ocean 2. Can I make the electric boogaloo joke twice in two videos? Because I made it in the last video. Yeah, I will. Ocean 2 electric boogaloo. The uh, long awaited cult favorite, successor to the cult favorite, I should say, the Ocean. Original Ocean, a phone that maybe was ahead of its time, or maybe was just uh, on an MVNO that went under, because uh, MVNOs seem to be the uh, place where people with bad credit go to get cell phones. But at any rate, it's the Ocean 2. There it is, in the box. Let's check it out. Alright, so like I said, the original Ocean, something of a super phone for its time. And uh, since then... Pantech, who had a hand in making the original Ocean, has come back with other dual slide form factor phones. If you're not familiar with the Ocean, the whole deal is that um, in addition to all of its crazy software capabilities and all the location aware stuff and social networking, two keypads. You can see the QWERTY board slides this way and the keypad, the dialing keypad slides that way. And so Pantech has come, Pantech has come back with a bunch of phones. The Matrix here on AT&T you can see with a dual slider form factor. Uh, the Duo as well, a Windows mobile phone, rumors kicking around about possibly another Matrix, uh, another Pantech dual slider phone coming out soon, don't know about that. But here it is, the Helio Ocean 2, being, uh, you know, Virgin Mobile took over Helio, but uh, still calling it Helio, I guess, with the Ocean 2, and uh, some kind of Britney Spears concert tour happening this year to promote this thing. Anyway, here it is in red, we'll get back to the phone in a second. Very fancy box, and in the box you get uh, your manual and a bunch of uh, hieroglyphic encoded pieces of paper. Uh, you get the charger, or this is a data cable, Ocean to USB, little button on there I would assume for syncing or something. You get your headphones, and uh, these look like a three and a half millimeter jack, unless there's a, another jack on the uh, adapter. We'll have to take a look there. Stereo headset with an inline mic. You get your charger. You get an empty bag that the charger once came in. And you get your little charm. Because it's made in Korea and um, people in Korea really like cell phone charms more than people in the U.S. do. I always, when I see cell phone charms, I always think they're really cool. And then I just like, I don't know, the idea of actually carrying them around in my pocket kind of stops me from getting one. Uh, so it looks like there's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack now on the Ocean 2, which is a nice addition. And here's the phone itself. So again, the dual slider with your keypad, your dialing keypad, and then your full QWERTY board on the bottom. The Ocean, original Ocean, has a, a league of very, uh, very faithful followers because a lot of great, like I said, social networking, GPS, web integration. Really, one of the first, uh, you know, first. U.S. branded cell phones. Don't call it a phone also, right Helio? They don't want you to call it a phone. They want you to call it a Helio. Uh, I may have to charge this up. One of the first U.S. branded devices to really take the social web, the mobile social web, into consideration uh, from the ground up. Lots of great, you know, web-based features in that device. Um, I think people were maybe hoping for a bit more of a radical redesign with the Ocean 2, very similar to the original Ocean. Of course, it's red instead of uh, black like the original. But uh, the dual sliding keypad, very thick phone. If we hold it up next to, I just happen to have uh, an AT&T Eternity here, Samsung Eternity, and you know, the Ocean is like twice as nice as, the, oh no, twice as thick. Uh, we'll get out a better comparison, we'll get out the, uh, Another sliding form factor device here. You can hear me rattling around in the background. This is the Fuse for AT&T, the HTC Fuse, the HTC Touch Pro. And uh, you know, the, this is a better comparison. Ocean and Touch Pro, kind of similar thickness, both with the sliding keypads. 
So, you know, for a uh, for what it is with the dual dual sliding factor, you know, Ocean 2 is I guess reasonably sized, but definitely not a super thin phone. But you know what? You might not care. Not everybody likes super thin. See if we can get some power up here. All right, so here it is powered up. Got some juice in it. I like the red glowing backlight. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a 3G phone, obviously, as you can see. Uh, CDMA running on Virgin Mobile's network. They're an MVNO. You know, Helio was an MVNO as well. Um, and they ran on Sprint's network. So you get the dual slider form factor with the uh, on the front. You've got a D-pad here. What happened? Did we crash? What's going on? There we go. Okay. I think because I slid it open. So you get a, a D-pad on the front here, and, and it looks like it's a, a touch-sensitive ring. I'm going to have to stop sliding the phone open and shut because I think that keeps messing us up here, but uh, a little bit of software glitches off the bat or something, some some uh, responsiveness issues. Can I get the phone to come back to life? While it's, uh, yes, unlock the keys, menu. I know I'm a professional, I should be patient and not just keep mashing on the buttons to get something to happen, but this is pretty unresponsive here. Let's see if we can get something happening. When I open the phone up, I get a beep. Alright, well, let's try it this way. So you've got uh, two sets of soft keys, so you can use the phone um, not sure, I guess this one's just up here for, no, that works for contact, for, yeah, I'm not sure actually why that one's up there, that's kind of strange. But you can use the phone in either orientation, uh, horizontal like it is now, or vertical with your two soft keys there. I don't know if you can flip the phone, maybe for gaming and that kind of stuff. But your, uh, your, message, your menu here, you've got a plan, message, apps, games, snap, surf, customize music and video. So again, the original Ocean all about the uh, the web services. So this is touch sensitive, the ring here. Take a little bit of getting used to, but you can see I'm just kind of swiping my my hand over and it's and it's registering. So we'll go to surf. We'll obviously do a lot more with this device. Very curious to see how it compares to the uh, original Ocean, although so far it looks very similar. Uh, but we'll do a... We'll do a, uh, a search here. I don't know why I'm searching for this, but I watched the Grammys last night and Blink-182 announced that they're getting back together, and I frankly don't care, but I just decided that's what I'm going to search for. So it's a 3G phone, no, uh, no Wi-Fi, not a touch screen as you can see. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I hit done. It's going to go for me. So you get your uh, your links pre-connect, pre-configured uh, with links to Helio Connect, MySpace, Facebook, and more. YouTube Mobile. What I wanted to do though was I really wanted to try out the search. Let's go from the home page here. If I go from the home page, get the live search. I think it's because I put in Blink 182. Because the phone was like, dude, you don't really want to search for that. So we'll do the uh, the homepage integrated search.
There we go. And it's getting my local information because I am here in, I'm in Berkeley, close to San Francisco, you know. We're used to it. Some band played, I think it was like Broken Social Scene or somebody played the Greek Theater in Berkeley, the show I was at a couple summers ago, and they were like, what's up San Francisco? And everybody booed them because we're not in San Francisco. Anyway, so there you go. And like I said, the addition of three and a half millimeter headphone jack is a nice touch for uh, for all the music stuff this phone can do. We'll be back. We'll do a lot more on this phone. I think, like I said, very curious to see uh, how it stacks up against the original Ocean. You know what they're offering with it now that it's on Virgin. Uh, if there's, you know, if there are, are any significant refinements to it beyond just the uh, the red shell and the headphone jack. So there you go, first look, it's the Ocean 2, don't call it Electric Boogaloo, don't call it a phone, from Helio, now under the auspices of Virgin Mobile. Much more on this device over on Phonedog.com. I'm Noah behind the camera, and uh... See, that's me. That's the Ocean 2. Hey, what's up? Yeah, Blink-182's back together. I know, right? Call Grandma, tell her. I will see you next time.